Hi guys, I wasn't going to do this video today. I wasn't going to do it at all because of how late I received it. But then I opened it and I had to do it. So if you'd like to see what I got in my Ipsy Base bag for the month of September, stay tuned. <laughs> First off, what a beautiful bag this month. It's crushed velvety filling. Ipsy base is $12 a month. You can sign up for a whole year. I think I can get it for like $10 a month with the average. Average is out too. Um, I've always loved my Ipsy. I've had very few problems with it. Love it. I did not like the cards that were inside the bags because there was no information on it. There was cute little sayings on it. That was it. But then when I finally got my Ipsy Base bag, I looked at the card, and just like the plus bag, it says good vibes, but then on the inside, everything's listed with prices, y'all. I'm in shock, and what a bag it is. I got my It CC Cream in the correct color tan that I was needing to be able to do a dupe video for you all. It's the correct color. Y'all, this is $15 at Sephora. And on here they have the um, full size of it is, of course, $40. Bucks. They don't have what, like, the deluxe cost, but it cost $15 for a sample of this. I also got the Pore Professional Hydrate Primer sample. The full size of this is $20, and I've been wanting to try this very much so. I got from PYT Beauty... Day to Night Eyeshadow. It's a cool little mini, you guys. It's a cute little mini. If I can get it open, okay. It's just a natural little palette. Beautiful colors. It's called Day to Night Cool Eyeshadow Palette. What, what a great little product to take when you're traveling. Awesome. And the little thing on the inside, the cover-up, has the shade names and everything, of course. See, I also got... From Pixie, who I love very dearly, this is an eyeshadow pencil. I'm sorry, you guys. The value of this, the full-size version is, let's say, $32. This mini, though, is worth, um, looks like $14.35. Okay. <sighs> the Hybrid Eyeliner by Pixie. What a beautiful shade. The shade is called Bronze Beam. It is gorgeous. And y'all know how many problems I have with packaging, so I went ahead and took the plastic off. Look at that beautiful brown. So pretty. I don't have any brown eyeliner, so I really wanted this. We got this here. It is from Mael Beauty, I believe it's called. It's called Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lips and Berry. So it is a lip tint which I love. Y'all know I cannot stand the ones that transfer. I hate it. And unfortunately, I did not get this one open, which I should have paid attention. Sorry, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Everything in the bag was valued at $50. And I cannot believe they actually put down the prices and everything now, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, I almost got it, you guys. I'm sorry. Almost me and packaging well enough. Goodness. So here it is. And here's your shade. Just a pretty light sheer berry color. It's gorgeous. And this is worth the full size version of this product is looks like nine dollars. Great. Let's see how well it dries down. I'm going to keep that on there and see. If it dries down, that would be amazing. So, I'm going to do a little different for you. I'm actually going to do a full face makeup for you. Yes, facing this way. I know you all like the palette wall. But, well, I guess I could stop and turn it, huh? I could do that. But, it's easy enough to do it here. What a great bag this month. I am amazed. I love it. 
So let's get these silly old glasses off. Yeah, y'all can see me now, I know. Looks lovely, don't it? This is my shade in the It CC Cream. And y'all, when I say it takes very little for this, I mean little. I have already dampened my Juno & Co sponge for you. And what I like to do is spray it with setting spray. And it just helps your foundation, your CC cream, whatever you're using, stay on a lot better. So, the it CC cream, and take a little dab there, a little dab there, one there with that scar. Crap, y'all, I forgot the primer. Oh well. And I forgot it because I don't think I've ever used primer with the it CC cream, you guys. We'll use it next time. Look at the coverage on this, you guys. I love covering up where I have the scars from the lupus. And right along my nose, I got some scarring there. Looks like I need a little bit more. As you can see from just that little bit, wowzers. I'm going to get just a little bit more. Just like that. I'm so happy I finally got the right shade from Ipsy. My goodness, I've got so many and medium light. And I do not want medium light. I just wanted to try medium. I bet these scars are a little bit brighter because I spent so much time out in the sun while we were camping. <laughs> That's okay because this is full coverage CC cream, you guys. Absolutely love it. Scars. Bam. There you go. No more scars. Love it. Let's see. We got the little PYT palette right here. Go ahead and give you little swatchy swatchies of all four colors. Pinky sunny. And we'll do it right here. There they are, all four of them. Looks like they're gonna be pretty well pigmented. That's nice. I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. I do love this stuff. Find some brushes. Let's just use this one here, a flat brush. And I'll do just one eye with you guys. That way I don't have you on here forever. Y'all know I don't like posting the long, long videos. And then I'll go off camera, finish my face, and come back. This here just really helps smooth out your texture. And I like to bring it underneath right here just a little bit. So when I put shadows down there, they'll like here a lot better. Just look at that coverage compared. It's good stuff, you guys. The price on is like, I think 20 to $25 for it though. But it lasts a very long time. Very good stuff. And it dries down very quickly, very quickly. Okay, let's go into, mm, we'll use this Bello & Co brush. Let's go into this darker brown right down here. And now let's just go ahead and put it base down just in case. Just in case we'll go into this color right here. because Your girl's a little dark. There we go. I like to leave it a little bit lighter at the top. Okay, now the Bella & Co brush. Let's go into the darker brown one. Not really any fallout. 
Okay, I didn't get enough apparently. Going through the crease. I like to go right above my crease. It makes my eyeballs look a little bit bigger. And then I go deep in that crease there. Not a lot. Ooh, that's got some shimmer. Doesn't look like it would. It looks like it's a complete matte. Huh. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, there's the deeper brown. Now I'm gonna go into this lighter one right here and put it all over my lid there. No extra anything. Oh, guys, it's a beautiful light gold color. And it most certainly is buildable. Oh, that's so pretty. Just a simple, easy look for you guys. I'm going to actually get a brush. Just a little one. I should use this Moto & Co. brush. Wet it down with my setting spray. And just an inner corner and eyebrow. With that exact same color. Pretty. Just a beautiful little sheen. And now I'm going to use the Pixie Browns Metal Eyeliner right underneath my waterline. Oh, it's very creamy, you guys. It just slid right on there. Easy hand with this. Very easy handed with this. Good job, Pixie. Love it. I'm going to go right above my eyelashes. get as close to the eyelash line as possible is what I did. That's all. And now I'm going to find my mascara I've been using, which is the Manicadar one. No curling, no primer, no nothing. Just throwing some mascara. Good mascara, you guys. Of course I'd stab myself in the eye with it. It wouldn't be a normal sunny video if I didn't do something. Easy peasy. Yeah, I have some mascara down here. I'll get that cleaned up with a Q-tip. Do those lower lashes. Let that mascara that flew off dry down a little bit. Get a Q-tip to clean it up. I'm gonna go and do this one. Let's see if that dried down. Not really. Maybe I just need a lighter hand with it maybe. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm not going to overline because it's such a light shade. Oh, what a pretty moment. Mm -mm -mm. All right, my babies, I'm going to go off camera, finish my face up, and get this off here, finish the other eye for you, and I'll be right back. Okay, my loves, here's the finished look. I used my Tarte Princess palette that I got from Miss Busy Beauty. I used the Tarte Highlight and Blush palette I also got from Busy Beauty. And I also just took this darker shade here in the corner and went underneath right here on both eyes. That's it, easy peasy. Now the little tinted moisturizer it has not dried down yet so i imagine it's just like a lip gloss but it's beautiful i loved it 
I really like that color a lot, actually. So, I hope y'all like this little easy glam moment. No eyelashes today, just gonna have an easy day. Y'all, I really love this Itsy bag this month. Amazing. Partly because I got the right color in my Itsy C cream, which like I said is $15, but this lasts for months. And I do have a dupe for y'all coming up soon. And it was a beautiful bag this month. Y'all just overall, the little eyeshadow quad, the lip tint, the um, pore primer, which I did not use. I'll get to it. The It CC Cream and the Pixie Eyeliner. What a great bag this month for $12, you guys. Good job, Ipsy. All right, my loves. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed me doing a look with everything in the bag this month. I'll see you guys there. Bye.